God bless you. Good morning. Greetings to each and every one of you wonderful people. I don't come in my own name, but I come in Jesus' name. And in the name of the Father, I don't come in my own name. I can't come telling you Robert Dunlap said this. Uh, I can't come telling you Bishop said this. I can't come telling you Church of God in Christ said this. Baptist said this. <coughs> Apostolic faith said this. I can't come telling that. But I come in my Father's name and in the Son named Jesus. I tell you what they say. I do they will. I don't come in my name. All right, let's let, let get right to it. An individual, it may have been last year, contacted me and spoke about me attacking other folks' doctrine and denomination and religion. So you shouldn't attack and tear down other people, religion, denomination, beliefs. All right. Let do let let get let let get let get some words of knowledge here now. <laughs> and I want to illustrate and demonstrate. Mm-hmm. All right. Jesus said, Beware of all prophets. So don't that don't, don't that mean anybody that's false, that say anything other than what Jesus preached? A preacher trade to Jesus Christ, the doctrine of Jesus Christ? Jesus told us to beware of them and how to know them by their fruit. The same chapter of the book of Matthew. Mm -hmm. He said, beware. And go against a doctrine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When John the Baptist came on the scene, John the Baptist addressed two groups of people. He addressed two groups. <laughs> John came preaching repentance. Believe the one that's coming after me, whose shoes I'm not willing enough to latch up. That one coming after me that preferred above me. That was John said. Go to Matthew chapter 4, I believe. Hallelujah. I believe. I believe that's what I want. Chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist preached in the wilderness of Judea and said, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, you don't hear repent in the church no more. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they not repent neither. Uh huh. That's why they still in the choir and on the deacon's bowl and the bowl. In a church member, and in a pulpit, they call themselves a Christian, and still sin. They got their wife and a sweetheart, wife and a girlfriend, side piece, smoking blunts. Praise the Lord, vaping, smoking cigarettes, 
cussing, lying, gambling all their money away, beating their wife, beating their husband. Uh huh. A false prophet in the pulpit. Uh huh. They're not repenting because they're not told to repent. Watch it. For this is he that was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of war cried in the will, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make it pass straight. And the same judge had his raven of camel's hair, leather girdle about his lord, and meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out to him, Jerusalem and all Judea, and all the region around about Jordan. And were baptized of him, confessing their sin. Confessing their sin means they repented of their sin. Confess. Remember, he that covered sin shall not prosper. But he that confessed and forsake. Hallelujah. Confess their sin. <sighs> Now, look at this group John had addressed. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees call to his baptism, he said to them, O generation of viper, who had warned you to flee the rap to call, bring forth therefore fruit, meet for repentance. Don't you come <laughs> by their fruit you shall know them to yourself. These jokers here were evil. They didn't repent. Well, think about repent. John attacked them and they held thou not. Jesus did the same thing, ye hypocrites. Now, Or say you, you should attack people darker than they believe in that denomination and they pass on what? What? We have to attack your doctrine, your belief, your denomination, your pastor. We have to. Now watch this. You carry the true doctrine. All you call yourself Christian, y'all got this. Y'all carry this. You got water in your hole. You got water in your car. You sure got to be your church. If you need some, I mean, when I, when I used to teach Bible class, YPWW, they called it. People come in and didn't have no Bible. We got to have a closet full of We'll go and get the Bible and give it to you. Hallelujah. Now you got the Bible on your telephone and on your tablet. You have the true doctrine. You carry it. Your preacher open, open up the true doctrine and tell you a lie that's not in the true doctrine. You got it on your own. Some of y'all got it like that. You carry it. So we got to tell you what the true doctrine said. We got to tell you what you carried on your arm and, uh, and what you got in your car and in your bedroom and living room and on the coffee table and on the mantle and over the fireplace and in your church in the big white Bible on the pulpit. We got to tell you what it said and what you ain't doing what it said. Jesus said the same thing. Jesus said, did not Moses command you Jesus say such a scripture, such a doctrine. For in them you think you have eternal life. Jesus said you have not known the scripture, yet you got the scripture. Slow heart to believe all that the prophets have said. The prophet testified me. You carry the doctrine. 
but you don't know the doctrine, and you're being taught against the doctrine because you're not looking at the doctrine. So we have to come along and attack your false doctrine with the true doctrine that you have. That's why we tell you, read with us. Go to book, chapter, verse. Your doctor said, Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. God himself came down here and got in the body. But the doctor don't say that. Your doctor say, well, ain't nothing without sin. Ain't nobody without sin. There's no good but the Father. None right to know not one. But the doctrine said, by one man, men will be made righteous. Writing it through faith and not the deeds of the law. Hallelujah. Your false doctrine said, your pastor said, so a seed for a milk. But the doctrine that you got say, have faith. The prayers of the righteous avail much. Your doctor say God still requires tithes and offering. But this said Christ the end of the law for right. <laughs> we got to have your doctor and give you the doctor that you tote under your arm and that you have in your church and in your home and in your car. Well, praise the Lord. That's enough of that. Thank you for hearing.